Right, good morning again ladies and gentlemen. This is the kit review as promised from my good friend Joe from Joe's Model Kit sent me this a couple of weeks ago. I do apologise Joe for not doing it earlier. And as you can see it's the uh, Sturm Tiger, the Tamiya Sturm Tiger. It looks a bit of a beastie doesn't it? Nice artwork again. I do like Tamiya's artwork. It is very nice artwork. And it's uh, Little crane there and the uh, 38 centimeter assault mortar as well with it. Actual uh, shell or mortar or well the mortar I should say. Looks quite nice. Okay, obviously it's on the Tiger One chassis. You can zimmer it along the sides there. So I don't think there's any zimmer in this. So I think it'll be a case of having to make me own. I think with this, but uh, we'll see as we go along. So. Um, as far as the kit's concerned, the box side again is there and the actual item number is 35177. Yeah. On the other side we have a sort of cold call out of the finished vehicle. It's quite nice and that's obviously taken his inside if it was stored with the, the mortars. A cross cut view. A cross -cut out view. So, was if you were clever enough and you had the uh, technology to do it, it'd look quite nice, that wouldn't it? Take a whole side plate away. So as you see, it's doable. And on the other side, we have a slight different variation of that one again, with the ambush camouflage and the mortar. And that's about it on the side, I think. I think yeah, there's a figure with it, actually a figure and one of the mortars, I think, unless that's just shown the yeah, rocket it is and a crew figure. So without further ado, let's open the box and let's see what we've got. Right, we'll take out the first thing we come to is the is the uh, low hull. Let's pop that over there. Lift this up slightly. And as you can see. It's quite nicely detailed, you've got the nice uh, thing over there, well, whatever this is called, I can't remember now. Somebody can uh, tell me, leave a comment in the comment box below. Nicely detailed again, so the, uh, got the raised rivet heads on here, but I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about if I do the zimmer it on it. I don't know, I'll have to see which version I'm going to do first, but it's nice, a nice solid, firm, typical to me, a plastic, nice and firm. Nice individual tracks on this beastie so it being to me obviously with some dangerous staples so let's have a look at the first track here yeah, this and this screws in here three three sprues of track in here I do have some spare tiger tracks but these don't look too bad at all I want to see how they go together they're quite nicely detailed can't see any uh, injection marks on that side, but we'll find out when we go to the other. Solid guide horns, that's the only thing. I'm not too sure they had solid guide horns. And there's injection marks there, as you can see. What a shame. What a shame. There's four on each, so it's going to be quite a hard work to get all that out. We shall see when we get to build it. I might even treat myself in bad, but I think I've got a, set, a spare set of... Uh, Tiger tracks, almost certainly. Yeah, I have obviously because I'm doing the. Uh, I said on one of my other reviews, I did a, uh, a new trumpeter tiger, and I bought the uh, metal tracks for it. So I should maybe use those tracks for this. The not the metal tracks, the, uh, the ones that came with there. They should fit. So another sprue here. And obviously the wheels. Two sprues of this. Very nicely detailed again. Typical to me. Lovely detail. Really, really nice detail. The sprockets and there are. Transmission final drive, really nice. No texture on the exhaust cover, but that's not too well. It's a slight bit as you can see, but it's, again, it's going to be covered up, so you're not really going to see it, are you? On the reverse, again, there's a little bit of detail on that wheel, but the other ones are plain on the inside, a couple of injection marks, but I'm not to worry about those. You're not going to see these. They were joined together with the other wheels, so nice, very nice indeed. And there's some viewports there, solid plastic ones, so I'll have to be painted. I think I've got a clear blue, I think, or something like that. 
but we'll see as we go along, we'll see as we go along. Right. And then we have one large sprue here, sorry, one large um, very large sprue which contains the figure. It's like the uh, upper hull, casement, and there's a small sheet of decals there which we'll keep out. So it's quite a large uh, casement. Slightly textured, slightly, slightly textured. If you can make the texture, if you can or not, slightly textured, like a rolled steel. But nice detail on the outsides as well. You can see the detail on the uh, rolled steel, the pit marks and things like that. Oh, it's quite nice actually, better than what I thought it was going to be. And then we have parts of the gun. And the figure, typical to me, a figure is not too bad. Not too bad. A bit soft, but not too bad. A few small, delicate piece, a few hatches, and there's the main gun. There's the actual mortar itself, the mortar gun. And there's the, uh, the mantlet again, which has got a nice cast texture on again. So you'll probably do the uh, one without the zimmer, I think I want it out zimmer it, I'm not too sure, I'll check out when we get to it, but yeah, a few hatches there. That's a nice kit, there is a nice kit. I'm quite impressed with the rolled steel on the, uh, it's almost as good as the Meng one I've got at the moment, the Meng King Tiger at the moment, with the rolled steel effect. Very nice indeed. Right, so I shall pop that back on into that bag, big enough. It's not a great, it's not, you know, it's not a, a massive kit to build, it's just the right sort of uh, number of parts for a, a nice build. And we have a bit of decal there, the typical to me are decals, which I'll probably, I won't be using the crosses, might be using the white lines or I might just do my own. We'll see when we get to it. So I can't quite make out what they're actually saying, if anybody can on there. I'm going to hold it together. My eyes are as good as that on the white decals. I haven't got a clue what it says under 13 here. So that's the decals. And then there's one more sprue. One bag of sprue, sorry, I should say, which contains more upper deck features and the mortars. I think there's four mortars there, which is quite nice. Here we have four mortars with the inside of the uh, casement. That's really nice, a nice checkerboard effect inside there. And then we have the uh, engine, engine, uh, rear engine deck. Nice bit of texture again on the uh, on there. You can just see it in that light. Quite nice indeed. Over the sides, small side skirts there. Presume that goes inside the hull. I would presume so. Nice texture on the actual. Uh, if you look on top of the, you can see the texture on the. Um, let me see if we can get a better view of it. Let's see. You can see the texture on the side skirts. I presume these are side skirts. I'm not too sure. There's a couple of little pin marks there, but you're not going to see them. I'll be able to get them out quite easily. I think they're. They look like side skirts to me, yeah, that's, that's the outside and that's the inside. Yeah, so you're not going to really see that detail, but there's this, the bolts on the side skirt, I might lose a couple of them. A bit of damage. Generally speaking, another nice kit, another nice sprue, and oh, the back plate there as well. Which is nothing much on there at all, obviously you've got the, all the, uh, the exhaust and the bits and pieces, but there's no texture on that at all. It's a slight bit towards the edges. Where you're going to see most of the stuff, but not as nice as the other pieces. But still very nice. And obviously this is for the uh, attaching the uh, the gun or the mortar, I should say, which is nice. I do like that actually when you get the old screw and that on the uh, for attachment of the gun. It always feels a bit firmer, doesn't it? And then we have. Uh, the instruction sheet. First of all, we have a colour call out for the. It isn't totally in black and white, but we have a colour call out for the uh, for the crewman. 
commander of Matushu or whatever he is. And then we have the colour call out for doesn't see which it doesn't really say what unit there is anything like that, but uh, it gives you the colour call out for that. It is it's black and white, but there you go. Can't do nothing else with it. At least you've got the top view as well this time, which isn't so bad. And the back and the side sorry the back and the front. Only one side view, but we can yeah, you can make it up from the other side, you can see what's uh, on that casement it comes right down. Right, and then we have the normal general instructions, which is typical to me and actually laid out, not overly complicated or in one go. So obviously you've sat with the low hole with the suspension, the rear plates, and the rear plate and it looks like the side as well. And then we start assembling the wheels and the transmission and then we're starting to assemble more wheels and adding the wheels but obviously we won't be adding wheels at that point there's no, doesn't look like there's any poly caps obviously not because we haven't seen any a bit more on there and then we have the making of the tracks but I'm going to have to have a look at these tracks in more detail I think it's probably too much of a pain in the bum every, every single track with four uh, ejection marks it's a bit silly time but uh, we shall see whether the ones fit or not a little better than that the detail is really nice now which is a pity about the, uh, the pin marks and there's a the rear adding all the uh, exhausts and things like that to the rear the building of the jack, so another jack, the exhaust pipes, and then we have the cowlings to go over the exhausts and the jack box and the C plate, and obviously there's the jack, and then we move on to the rear hatch, sorry, the rear rear engine deck, which is all fairly straightforward, and then we're starting on the inside with the. Uh, The floor and for the, the gun to be mounted into, and the driver's uh, chair there as well. So it's quite nice. And we're hitting number 11. After that, are we? Oh, where are we going from? 12, sorry. And then we're starting to do a bit more of the interior again with all the sort of things for the, for the mortars to go onto, shelves for the mortars to hang from or put into, and then we're assembling the mortars. Ah, I see what them decals are for now. There for the individual mortars, which is quite a nice touch. I like that. And then obviously we're positioning the uh, the mortars into the shelves, into the shelves that that's uh, been built already in from the last step. And with the light to go on, placing the engine deck. And then we're starting to assemble the mortar itself. Fairly straightforward. Doesn't look too overly complicated. Mantlet and breech block, and then again more gun things for the actual gun itself. Again, for the actual mortar to sit into, there's the nuts and bolts. You attach that to that, and then one would presume that goes inside the, uh, the casement. And then we're starting off with the, uh, the machine gun. Few drivers, drivers, sorry, commanders, cupola, hatches, things like that. Grab angles. I think there must be track for the tracks to go on to, spare tracks, not too sure. As it say, superstructure, it says superstructure. Small loading hatch and driver's vision block. And we're on to number 20. Again, we're attaching a scape hatch and more little bits on the actual casement itself and then we next bit is fashioning the uh, casement to the lower hull and the shackles then go on and then the muck guards on the front and a couple of track, oh, they're the track, the track holders for the sides they must be just little like um, bolts go on there and the side skirt and the pioneer tools and I think that's it, ah sorry no it's just my apologies and then we've got a building of the little crane that uh, winches the mortars into position. Obviously from lifting them onto the uh, tank I would have thought. Yeah, which goes onto the back. 
and then we have some more uh, track hang hanging on the uh, track hangers on the side more pioneer tools and the side skirts again and that's it really so there's only the one colour call out actually you can see in the actual well the colour of the actual uh, call out for the uh, variant you're going to do but there's two on the side of the box so I'll have to look into that so that it doesn't look like it's got Zimmer on there but confusing I'll have to check that out but as far as that's got nicely kit I do like it I do like the because uh, obviously it's on a Tiger chassis so it's going to be quite a big beast when it's finished it'll look really nice so I'll build this for Joe and I'll uh, do my utmost Joe to uh, make a good job of it uh, so I think that's about it I think I think yeah nothing more else to say on the subject so there again I'd just like to say thank you very much to my uh, subscribers again for taking the time out of your day to uh, view this small video, this small uh, unboxing um, and hopefully I'll see you soon with a, an update on the uh, Men King Tiger, the buddy build with me, Paul and uh, Jack so that'll be coming along quite shortly so uh, this is Greg signing off and we shall speak soon, goodbye